Hello children today we are going to start with a new chapter of social science from the book looking around Chapter 27 Chusket goes to school children let's start the chapter with mind mapping chuskit she is 10 years old ladak she belongs to skipto village she is differently abled she uses wheelchair children now let's discuss aims and objectives of studying this chapter to know about chuskit to know about problems faced by chuskit to know about how chuskit could go to school Let's learn some facts about Chuskit. Chuskit is 10 years old. Today she is going to school for the first time. It is a special day for Chuskit as she is going to the school for first time and she has been waiting for this day since long time. Chuskit lives in Skitpo Pul village in Ladakh. Chuskit school is not very far from her house. For reaching school, one has to take the big road and then walk along the lake. One has to cross the river near the poplar trees and then after a small climb you reach the school this is how all the children of skitpo pul village reach their school all the children but not chuskit chuskit was different from other children at first chuskit did not know that she was different from other children but slowly she found that she could not do the things that other children could it was because of her legs she could not use her legs since birth All day Chuskit used to sit near the window and draw pictures her mother Amale said that Chuskit made the best drawings this made Chuskit happy but Chuskit was happier when one day her father Abale got a chair which had wheels She quickly learned how to sit in the chair and how to move it back and forth. Chuskit was so happy because now she did not need her father to carry her anywhere. Chuskit could now go out on her own. with the help of chair when she wanted to go out she would tell her mother to put her in the wheelchair chuskit would see other children going to school every morning they would be laughing and playing on their way to school she wished that she could also go with them
One day, Abdul came to her house and asked why she did not go to school. Chuskit said, I cannot walk and my father cannot carry me all the way to school every day and I cannot even wheel my chair as the school road is not leveled. After chatting with Abdul, Chuskid expressed her desire to go to school and study like others. Her Memale grandfather asked her to stop dreaming as this was not possible. Abdul went back from Chuskid's house. But he had started thinking of how to get Chuskit to school. He explained about Chuskit to the headmaster and talked to the teachers till they agreed with his thoughts. Now everyone got together to work so that Chuskit's problem could be solved. They made a plan so that Chuskit could bring her wheelchair by road to school. For this, the uneven road had to be made level. One group of children started to level the road. Another group worked to level the area near the river. The older children took help from the teacher to build a wood bridge across the river. Everyone happily worked hard. They wanted Chuskit to come to school. Chuskits, Amale and Abale gave hot tea and biscuits to everyone. Chuskits, Memale had tears in his eyes. Not because he was sad, but because he was very happy. By the evening, all the work was done. All the children were very happy, but the happiest of all was Chuskit, because her dream was about to come true. Chuskit was all ready. She was eager to go to the school. Children, let's learn some new terms that we have learned in this chapter. Eager, full of keen interest. Wheelchair. A chair with wheels which is used by disabled people. Lake. Lake is an area filled with water surrounded by land apart from any river. Differently abled people who cannot use one or more of their senses are called differently abled. Thank you and I hope the concept is clear to you.